Blessings for Spotify, this is Coach Renee, and I'm back with another video. As always, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Remember to subscribe, share, and like, and always feel free to leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. This morning, I wanted to come uh, to share something that's been on my heart all week now, and I was actually throwing it out there, here and there, hoping that it would release from my spirit. But I woke up this morning and it's still there. So that's just a sign to me that God wants me to share this. And today I just want to remind us that we cannot be a part of a problem and also pray for a solution. We're going to have to pick a side. And um, so the scripture I want to reference is coming from 2 Chronicles, the 7th chapter and the 14th verse. He said, and if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now, back then, God was having a conversation with Solomon, and he was telling Solomon some of the things that can be done in order for Israel to hear from him again. But I also believe that that is applicable to us today. Because again, a lot of times we are a part of the problem and then we turn around and pray and ask and then God for a solution. And I'm just a firm believer that a lot of times God don't answer our prayers because he wants to give us time to figure things out, to get ourselves right and to see ourselves in the situation. You know, take the hunger strike that's going on over there with the hunger nine. You know, it's, it's so sad because a lot of these young men that are doing the killing are very young i mean they're like 14 15 16 and i know they're living with somebody they surely don't own their own place and so we can't be an umbrella for these young men to uh store their weapons and then go out and pray for a resolution in the community you know we we can't when our young people are committing these crimes we can't rush them out of town and then come back and get upset that the community isn't doing enough to solve this problem, you know, and then turn around and your child becomes one of the victims. And then you out there rallying with the rest of them saying, we need to bring a resolution. So we can't be a part of the problem and then pray and ask God for a solution. We're going to have to pick a side. I also talk to some men from time to time and I say, hey, you know, you can't expect your queen to welcome you home and be happy and, and want to see you coming when you mistreat her. You treat her any kind of way. You talk to her any kind of way. You know, you, you don't show love and respect to her, so you can't expect her hap to be happy to see you coming. And vice versa with our queens. You can't expect your king to want to always come home. You know, you don't, you don't like to clean, you don't like to cook, you're always talking negative, you're always nagging, you don't never pray and, you know, speak God's blessings over his life, all you do is nag, 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 eventually he ain't going to want to come home. So we can't create that problem and then when we get a reaction from people, pray and ask God for a solution. Again, we have to pick a side. You know, unfortunately, we just had we've just had uh, another suicide as a result of these uh, school shootings. Uh, uh, yesterday, another parent couldn't handle the death of his child, and he committed suicide. That's why I say that's why I always like to say be good to yourself and be good to one another because you don't know what a person going through, and then when you put them through something. You know, everybody not equipped to handle the same things. You understand? So we can't be a part of the problem and the solution. I know back in our days with these young kids, I, could, I mean, it was never heard of. These young kids committing suicide now. Back in our days, that was never heard of. And then we sit around and we cry about it and we're, we're just so broken about it. But then we go online, we bully them. We talk to them any kind of way. We make fun of them. We don't give them an opportunity to, to grieve and, and to express themselves and, 
and to get things out so they feel like they can't come to you because all we do is judge so they bottle that stuff up in them and before you know it they're committing suicide and some of them doing it online like that was never heard of listen our families our homes our relationships our communities we're in a state of emergency and we don't even realize it and God is just saying you know take a look at yourself where do you fit in the scheme of all this are you a part of the problem or are you a part of the solution right we have to think about that so a lot of times that's what God is saying. Take time out and search yourself. I can't answer that prayer right now. I can't bring your healing right now. I can't bring your, de bring your deliverance right now because you are creating this problem. So in order for me to fix the problem, I got to first fix you. <laughs> that's what God is saying. So, yeah, it's been in my spirit all week and it's just so sad. You know, sometimes we, we have friends and we pray, Lord, you know, bring me friends. Bring me some good, God-fearing, spirit-filling, filled friends. Friends that's positive, that's, that's going to be a positive influence in my life. But we can't have, God is not going to bless you with those type friends if you don't show yourself friendly. They're, they're just like back in the days Israel had to do things in order for God to come in and heal them. It's the same with us today. We have to search ourselves and find where are we in this situation. What, think about a problem you're having right now. Think about a problem. Some of us, it don't take that long to think about because we're in the midst of it. Think about a problem you're dealing with. And then ask yourself, am I a part of the problem? Because if I'm a part of the problem, let me work on this. Let me pray and ask God to help me work on this so that I can remove myself from a problem and shift to being a solution. Right? People, we're in a spiritual warfare. I'm telling you. And we're trying to fight one another with the carnal weapons, and we can't do it. This is a spiritual fight. You know, we've taken God out of everything. Out of our families, out of our homes, out of our relationships, out of our communities, out of our... We've taken God from out of everywhere. And now we're praying, God, heal us. <clears throat> heal us. <clears throat> Step in, God. <clears throat> Do a new thing for us. Forgive my voice. <clears throat> Do a new thing in our lives, God. Do a new thing. We study praying, asking God to do that, but we steady being a part of the problem. We can't have it both ways. We can't have it both ways. What you want? What you want to do? <laughs> That's what we used to say. What you want to do? So when you got people coming up to you, trying to create a problem, <clears throat> or trying to invite you into a problem, you have the power to stop that. You don't, you don't dibble in there, and then when it get too hot for you to handle, God, you got to work it out, God. Step in, God. Do a new thing, God. Bring deliverance, God. We need you, God. No, we can't do that. <laughs> Where we do that at? <laughs> we can't have it both ways, people. So I know I'm saying I'm wearing a sh shirt and saying I stay strapped, and I do. But not with a weapon, a carnal weapon. It's a spiritual weapon I carry every day, all day. Choose your weapon. One of the Hunger Nine Wives' daughter made this. I love this shirt. I love the message. So that's all I want to say today. Search yourself and ask yourself in whatever situation, be it the community problem, your home problem, your friendship problem, your relationship problem, search yourself. Ask yourself, am I part of the problem? Because I am. I need to ask God to forgive me and help me to fix it so that I can be a part of the solution, right? We all are in need of God's peace. And in order to do it, in order to receive it, we have to make sure we're not the problem. That's what I want to say to y'all. I love y'all for real, for real. 
And as always, make sure you be good to yourselves and be good to one another. Listen, I know some of y'all are requesting for a video, of more videos <laughs> other than once a week. But I'm taking baby steps. If God inspired me to drop something in between, I'll do that. But I just want to stay committed right now for once a week. Because I need to take baby steps. And um, I love y'all. I love y'all. For real. I love the Fierce Butterfly Nation. So I know it's time to go. Because Chi Chi, that's the neighbor dog. Chi Chi done came out. And Chi Chi don't, don't be quiet a lot of times. So I'm leaving out. But I love Chi Chi. No worries. So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I love y'all for real. God bless you. Remember, it's always better to be on the right side of God. Amen.